This was our science storage room. Two classrooms shared one storage room where we tried to keep things organized on the shelves. We keep all of our equipment for labs, projects, and various activities. This is how we operated out of our storage room before Valerie Vogt came and helped us do a science room overhaul. We used an alphabetical system in order to make the process move smoothly. First label each area with an alphabetical letter as shown. Make sure to leave extra room for letters C, B, and S because they tend to have lots of items. Now you may start cleaning out the storage room. Cleaning out the storage room is going to be a long process. You might want to have your fellow teachers help you out. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have student office aides as well. Make sure you take inventory of all the materials that you have so you know exactly what you're working with for the upcoming years. While you're cleaning out your cabinets, make sure everything is up to date and not expired. You don't want to use expired equipment for next year. Now that our storage room is completely cleaned out, our next step is to put things into bins and label them. You can use whichever labeling system works best for your department. We label sticky notes first on the bins. This way you can move things around if you need to. Depending on how many items you have, some bins might have one item and some bins might have multiple items, like magnets, marbles, and matches. Once everything is in a bin, you can start putting these bins on the shelves in alphabetical order. With items that are too big for the bin, we suggest that you designate one area or a set of shelves to house these, like the microscopes, soil, triple beam balances, things of that nature. Remember how the storage room looked before we started? Now here it is afterwards. Next we are going to use our newly vamped storage room for a lab that we conducted during the school year. The way that the storage room is organized helps the science teacher prepare for his or her lab with ease. And it allows for a one stop and shop of items listed on your lab. You now don't have the hassle of running back into the storage room for more supplies. Everything is clearly labeled and accounted for. Having the department storage room in this alphabetical system cuts down on lab setup time and allows the teacher to focus more on the lab itself. After you have conducted the lab, the cleanup is just as simple. Place all of the reusable items back into their proper bin and remember to keep an inventory of your items that you have used.